Hi, this is Grace Pamela with Summerana.com, and this is a preview and tutorial of the new Summerana Skies Overlay and Action Collection. This is available for both PS and PSE, and here is the image we're going to be working on today. So I'm going to pull up my Action Collection here, and I'm going to go to Apply Summerana Sky Step 1. I'm going to press Play, press Continue, and I'm going to choose a sky that I would like to add. Press Place. Once you have the sky, you're going to drag the edges, the corners here, so you can fit your sky. You can either press the link up here or hold the shift key down on your keyboard. And you want to place it where you want to see your sky, so I'm going to place it just below the horizon here. And then press the check mark. Then press continue and select the dropper plus tool and click your entire sky. You can also refer to the selection box over here and select in there as well. You can adjust the fuzziness to make sure that the black is where your subject is because that's not where your sky is going to go. You want to make sure that stays black. So you can bring it to the left and that will make it darker for you. When you've got a good estimate, press OK and then press continue. Now we're going to go to step 2. Press play, and now it's telling us to stop and to click our actual Summer on the Skies overlay, but keep it hidden. Do not click that. And then press play, and then press continue. Now we have our sky overlay applied. From here, it does a pretty good job applying it for you, but it may miss a couple spots from, um, from when we were choosing the dropper tool. Or sometimes you'll have something that kind of blends in more with the sky. You can just erase all that all. There you go. And then choose a white paintbrush color to paint back on your sky in areas that you missed. You can also zoom in to make sure you get all the closer spots. And also make sure you get the edges. Sometimes the edges show through. There you go. That's a pretty good start there. You can also lower the opacity of your sky to make it blend in a little bit more. And I'm going to lower the opacity of my brush, make my brush a little bigger, and lighten around the horizon a little bit, just so it blends in more. I'm also going to do the flag up here. Here we go. Here is before and after. You can also go through the same steps by applying some around a sky reflection. So you go through the same thing except instead of choosing the sky with the dropper tool you will be selecting your water or your windows or wherever you want the reflection to go. You can also paint on the summer on a sky and that basically does the same thing. Here, I'll show you an example really fast. This basically does the same exact thing, except you're going to put your opacity wherever you'd like it, and then you're just going to paint the sky on. Whichever method you prefer, you can do whatever you'd like. Both options are there for you. I already have my sky here, so I'm just going to delete this. And then I'm going to show you the rest of the things here. We also have Blur My Sky, and anytime you use any of these Summer on a Sky editors, you need to click your actual sky layer. Not the layer mask, but the actual layer. So make sure that's clicked. It will also remind you um, in here in the messages. So you have Contrast, Darken Sky, Light and Sky, Moody Skies, More Color, Warm Up, Cool Down. And you also have uh, the Summer on a sky, uh, sky Color Blenders here, and these are lots of fun too. I'm going to show you an example. You can double click this circle right here, 
Use the drop down menu and choose the color that you're working on. Make sure it matches the same group layer and the action that you used. And then from there you can see over here in the selection box all the areas that has been selected in the sky. And you can adjust the color any way that you like it. It's lots of fun. If you find in your image that it has um, changed the colors of, let's say you only want the color of the sky selected, you can just go to the go to the layer mask here, choose a black paintbrush, 100% opacity, and just paint it off. And there you go. I'm going to show you the quick before and after. Here's the before and here's the after. It's a very, very simple process. The more you do it, the faster and faster it goes for you. Um, and I really hope you do enjoy it. If you have any questions at all, you can contact me at my website or my email, info at and I hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you.